Morning, Diesel. Good morning. Very nice sniffer you have there. Very nice. Oh, good morning. I've been up for a while already. already made my first drop. I had to work again. You bet, Trucker Josh works. Look at me, all sweaty. So we're gonna go to our second drop right now. Let's not waste any time. Let it get on the road. We are in uh, close to, what was it called? Bucktown, Buckingham, Bucking something? Buck, 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 Buckingham, Quebec. That sounds like a very English name. Buckingham, Buckingham. Buckingham, Quebec. Buckingham, Quebec. And we're headed over to Napal V. That sounds a little bit more French, but maybe we go back. So without further ado, let's go. I'm just on the way over to Naperville right now in Quebec. And we're still about two hours away. I'm in a long convoy of vehicles following one slow vehicle. Maybe one day. I don't know if it's really my thing though, but it looks like a lot of fun. I'm sure the money's great too. Been along, nice little small town we're going through here. We just crossed the bridge into Ontario. Uh, we're gonna be going through the little corner of Ontario here and back into Quebec in about an hour. We're bouncing back and forth across the border here the last few days. I was just in this town not too long ago too. So interesting, you know, I live so far away from these places, yet I go through here quite a bit. I don't know much about them, because like I said, I just pass through, but... It's interesting talking to people from like, other parts of the country that are way far away from Manitoba, and I can be like, yeah, oh yeah, I've been there, oh yeah, I know that place. Don't know anything about it, but I've been there. House on the left, or what is that? Oh, that's an old Anglican church. Oh, I get it. Oh, wow, that is old. Oh, wow. I'd love to go inside that. This must be a pretty old town here. Just judging by the architecture around here, like that house on the left, probably been completely redone, but oh, wow, it's nice. So many places I pass through that I'd be like, man, it'd be awesome to live here. You know, I, I can't live everywhere. I can only live in one spot and I can't keep bouncing around all the time. Eventually, I gotta find a place to settle into it and stay there. I really like the house that I'm in right now, you know. My plan is to pay it off and you know, live there so many other places that I would think would be pretty neat to experience, you know? I like to uh, measure life by experiences. Get as many as possible. All right, we've made our second drop here in Naperville, Quebec. Now we're just squeezing our way out of town. There's a Flying J just uh, by the highway here that I want to stop at. All these political signs on the right here, you see this? Oh, here comes a good one. You know, that's a question I have. The Federal Party Bloc Québécois. I'm wondering how they can be a political, a federal party if they don't have representation in every province. Uh, I'm just wondering, is there a Bloc Manitoba? Because I'd like to know. Just, I haven't seen any signs for the Bloc Manitoba. Uh, I don't know. That's an inside Canadian joke, if you're wondering. Only Canadians will get that one. <laughs> Bloc Québécois is a federal party that is uh, specific to Quebec, which makes no sense because that would make it a provincial party. But they're running for federal government. They don't have a chance of winning because the rest of the provinces won't vote for them, but... I don't know, I find it kind of humorous. It's a little bit of a joke, I like telling. Anybody heard of the Bloc Manitoba? Nope. <laughs> Hope 
hopefully people get my sense of humor. What did you do, Diesel? What did you do? I got all these velcro sticky things on me, man. I don't know what happened. Man, they're all in there right now. I put them in there. You went running through the burrs, didn't you? That was my fault. I let them run right through that. Oh. I've been here for like 15 minutes now picking birds off of him. Maybe that's exaggerating. We've been here for maybe like five, 10 minutes, but I wanted to pick them off of you so that you wouldn't, because I know you were trying. I could have done it, man. No, you would have gotten them in your mouth and it would have gone down your throat and got stuck in there. And it would have been a big vet bill for me. You know what I mean? We don't need vet bills. So I got them all off of him now. So it's just pretty much dust left on him now. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Better you than Sergeant though, because Sergeant's got longer hair. So good thing we let you out first, right? That's right, I sacrificed myself for the team. And thank you very much. That's what I do. I'm the weasel. You're Sergeant's hero, man. You're a hero. Because of what you sacrificed, he didn't have to go through the experience of his first time meeting a bush of burrs. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. See? That would have been awful. His hair is terrible. That would have been terrible to get that out of yours. Here's a little shorter, a little easier. We're here in Naperville, Quebec. We're just leaving. We just stopped by that Flying J. Uh, just let, let the boys out. I was gonna get fuel here, but there's only two pumps and there's a long lineup of trucks and I got over a half a tank yet, so I don't really need to fuel up. I just wanted to. But you can't have everything you want. So we'll fuel up later. We have one more delivery to get done today. I'm really hoping we'll get it done. If not, I might have to do it in the morning. That means waiting till then, but without further ado, again, we better get going. It's one of those days, just go, 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 go. Go, 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 and then go some more. Driving through Quebec in the rain. Driving through Quebec in the rain. I would like to change lanes in the rain. Driving in Quebec in the rain. So, I've said it before, there's a lot of slow drivers in Quebec, but that's okay, because there's a lot of fast ones too. There's just a larger number of slow ones than anywhere else. In my professional opinion. It's like they all like to go 95, but the speed limit's 100, which is perfectly fine, right? Right? But as soon as you try to pass them like this, oh, they like to sit right beside you. So now I'm stuck in the hammer lane. Oh, do you see that? That car that just turned off there, no signals, just royally cut off this car. Wow. You know, today's been, okay, I'm gonna get back in here, okay? That car turned off. One second, one second, one second. Focus, focus, okay. What was I gonna say now? Oh yeah, I've been cut off, like royally cut off, three times today. And I've only been driving less than half a day. Like royally, like they just about left some paint on my moose bumper. What are you thinking? Why? Why are you doing that? And then you honk at them, and then they open their window and give you the bird. Like, really? All that effort just to give me the bird after you just about killed yourself? Maybe you should focus on where you're going instead of what's behind you. But then again, maybe you should look at what's behind you before you turn into the lane. I, I don't know. <laughs> Not complaining, just observing. Observing. And then there's the one guy, the last guy who royally cut me off. like had to slam on my brakes, came out of nowhere, and he wanted to turn, and he wanted to be in front of me, and he wanted both. And it wasn't even his turn, or he already missed his turn, so he cuts right in front of me, slam on the brakes, and then eventually I get up beside him, right, and I'm gonna do the drive-by glare. You know, that, that drive-by glare, right? You're all mad and everything, I'm all like uh, yelling at him through the windshield, what are you doing, you're crazy! get up beside the guy, he apologizes, rolls down his window. I thought he's gonna yell some curses at me, right? So I roll down my window, ready for it. I'm ready, give me your best shot. Leans over, like, sorry! Sorry, I'm not from around here. Sorry, I'm like, dang it! 
I was mad, and now I feel dumb that I was mad, which makes me mad. <laughs> the Nova Scotia plates. Those Maritimers and their politeness get you every time. What a way to defuse the situation though, wow. I was expecting him to be cursing at me and instead he apologizes, totally, totally diffuses everything. Oh, we're just going over this fancy, fancy Quebec City Bridge. We're almost to our destination. I've got half an hour to get there and it's 10 kilometers away. That's like six miles. Half an hour. Now come on, Quebec City. Help me out here. Clear the way. I prefer it if you would just, you know, open a lane up. Trucker Josh coming through. Maybe not. I told them I'm coming, so I hope they don't decide to leave early. It's a Friday when I'm filming this, so, you know, some people like to go home early for the weekend if, you know, they're a little too anxious to get away from work and start their weekend. I, I called them. I said, I'm coming. I am almost there. Wait, please. At least until the end of your business hours, right? That, that's fair to ask, right? If you say you close at 5, at least stay there till 5, please. Don't leave at 4.30. Is that wrong to ask that? I don't know. This traffic is not helping me. Especially when we do this. This is, this is great. Complete stop on the free... I love this. Can I get in that lane, please? Oh, I gotta be in that lane anyway. I gotta turn right. Right? Turning on my signal device. So far, it's a foreign instrument. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. My signal's on. There we go. Eventually, you just sort of gotta say, hey, I'm serious, man. I told you I'm coming over. I, I warned you. I'm coming. I'm bigger. So, still here in traffic, and I got four minutes to go six and a half kilometers. Yep. So I called the customer, right? All panicking. Thinking to myself, shoot. I'm going to be late. I'm going to have to call them and beg them to stay on a Friday. And you know how, you know how much everyone just loves to work overtime on a Friday. So I made the call, I was nervous, sweating a little bit. I told him I'm, at the time I got, I was seven kilometers away. I'm seven kilometers away. I'm in traffic. I'd really like to get uh, these two pieces off to you guys, if that, if at all possible. And the guy's like, oh, no problem. We're here till midnight. I'm like, what? I called like an hour ago and they said that I have to be there by five because everyone goes home at five. So apparently that was wrong. They go home at midnight. So we're in the clear. The day, the day, the day. Are you guys excited too? I'm very excited, man. I I'm gonna bite the easel's face. That's how excited I am. Don't stop, don't stop biting my face. That's what you do when you're excited? Lame with you. Oh yeah, stop it, stop it. Oh yeah, you stop it. I oh, just wanna bite your face a little bit, man. Just a little one. Here's the little one. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, give me your face. I'm gonna bite your face. Get off me, man. Get off me. <laughs> They're still going at it. They're very excited. We got all four Quebec drops off today. Woo! We got so lucky that the last drop was open until 9 p.m. And we got there at 8.45 and they received the product. So now I'm on my way to New Brunswick. Guys, guys, give me a break, just for a second. Guys, hey, 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 Sergeant, hey, hey, you, back there. I have a little flashlight here. Stop it. Not the flashlight, man. It hurts my eyes. Stop it. Yeah, well. Stop. Okay. Yeah, we're going to New Brunswick, but we only got to be there for Monday morning, so I got all weekend. I could sleep here if I wanted to, or I could keep going. And I'm gonna keep going a little ways yet, but I'm gonna fuel. Even though I don't like to fuel in Quebec, we try to boycott Quebec. No, sorry, Quebec, but your taxes are way, oh, way out of the sky here. Like just psh, out of there. It's just wow. So we don't buy fuel here usually because it's too expensive. So we buy it outside of Quebec. Um, that's the yeah. 
simple as that. But I do gotta buy some fuel here now because otherwise I'm gonna run out. And I might as well buy enough to get me through the weekend just because I will probably reset from tomorrow night to Monday morning, I'm thinking. And then I don't wanna have to fuel or move or do anything during my reset, otherwise it would spoil my whole reset. If you don't know uh, that, what that is, it's a term that means I gotta stop. In Canada, it's 36 hours. In the States, it's 34 hours. You gotta stop for that amount of time consecutively. So consecutive 36 hours, I've gotta sit. And that resets my week. That starts a new week for me and I can work another 70 hours in the next seven days. The States is a little different, it's 70 hours and eight days. But since we're in Canada, we'll just talk Canadian. So 70 hours and seven days, I gotta stop for 36 hours. So uh, we've got till midnight that we can drive tonight yet. <coughs> Another couple of hours. I don't know how far we'll go. We're just outside of Montreal. We're at the Flying J here. Uh, I don't know what it's exactly called, but Flying J. Mm. Oh, St. Antonin. We're right by St. Antonin, Quebec. Fuel is $1.16.9 here a liter. In Manitoba, it was under a dollar per liter. Well, we got the day done, didn't we? Didn't we, boys? Oh, so, so happy <laughs> that we got those deliveries off. Otherwise, I'd have had to sit here uh, right outside of Montreal till Monday and then drive to New Brunswick, unload Tuesday. And that just wouldn't work. Now we're a day ahead and we can unload in New Brunswick on Monday and we can get our reset tomorrow, enjoy a weekend. But we're here near Villeroy, Quebec. Uh, it's just, what would you call it, south or just west of Quebec City. Tomorrow we'll go the rest of the way to uh, St. John, New Brunswick. That's where we're going. I've actually never been to St. John, New Brunswick either. So this is a trip of firsts for me. So I gotta go check it out there right on the coast, I believe it is. Maybe, hey, we we'll, might get to see the, actually, I can guarantee we'll get to see the ocean forward to that. It's always exciting when a prairie boy sees the ocean. Sergeant, leave Diesel alone. Why can't you just mind your own business? Just gotta get your nose up and everyone else is grilled, man. Dude, don't ever say that again. <laughs> it's true. So thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow we're gonna be uh, driving about eight hours into the Maritimes, over the top of Maine from Quebec into New Brunswick. Hope you join us anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Don't forget to go down below to the description. If you're new, check it all out. You can learn a lot about me and the dogs and everyone else. Down below in the description, you just click the down button. Tons of links. You can find links to past vlogs of mine, what I've been doing on this day for the past two years. And you'll, you'll, you'll see it all down there. Uh, don't forget to leave a nice comment down below. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I'll see you tomorrow.